Let's think about how much CO2 we generate when we fly. Well, I'm going to think of flying from London to Sydney. And that's about 20 hours of flying. You can check on the web that a 747 plane consumes fuel at a rate of about 4 kilograms per second. And uh, you have to um, multiply that by 20 hours and by 3,600 because that's the number of seconds there are in an hour. So the amount of fuel used on my flight um, is uh, 4 kilograms per second times 20 hours times 360. Zero, zero kilograms. But if I want to get CO2, I have to multiply by three because I get about three kilograms of CO2 emitted for every kilogram of fuel. So if I talk about amount of CO2 used, uh, that's the total amount of CO2 that gets emitted. Uh, and I need to divide that by the number of passengers that gives me about, well, I'll do the calculation. Um, 4 multiplied by 20, multiplied by 3, 600, multiplied by 3, uh, divide by That's per person. Can that be right? Well, let's do a, a cross check. Um, you can check on the um, on the internet that the fuel capacity of a seven four seven is about two hundred thousand liters. And that is about, let's round figures, I say 180,000 kilograms. If I divide that by 350 people, then um, that's about 500 kilograms per person. So you can see that uh, the amount of fuel used, I have to multiply by three to get CO2. The amount of CO2 used in a, a plane using up its entire fuel capacity is totally consistent with this calculation that I've just done before. So let's think about um, what this 2,400 kilograms of CO2 per person means. Let's imagine a suitcase. We go onto the plane with our favorite suitcase and it weighs 20 kilograms. How many suitcases do we need to get up to 2,400 kilograms? Well, we need 120 to get 2,400 kilograms. So just imagine you arrive at Sydney Airport and you go to the carousel to pick up your one and only 20 kilogram suitcase and you get a little tap on the shoulder saying, hey mate, you've got to pick up your waist. What waist? Oh, those 120 suitcases over there, they're yours. That's your waist. If you go to the beach, mate, you take your waist away with you. If you go camping, mate, you take your waist away with you. Well, if you go flying, you've got to look after your waist. Now, if we started thinking about how we would deal with 120 suitcases full of 20 kilograms each CO2, we'd probably stop flying. Another way of looking at this is that um, this 2,400 kilograms of uh, CO2 you've emitted has been generated over 20 hours. So divide by 20, uh, that's about 120 kilograms per hour. Uh, that means that when you're sitting 
in the plane. Every hour, you are generating 120 kilograms of waste. You're generating 120 kilograms of CO2. Well, that's one and a half times my body weight. And I like to think of waste in terms of bricks. This brick weighs about 2.4 kilograms. Every hour, I'm chucking 50 of these out the window. I'm chucking 50 bricks worth of CO2 every hour into the bin. And that's just me. And the other 350 passengers on the plane are doing the same thing. It's just mind-boggling to think that at the end of my flight, I have about a thousand bricks of waste. What have I done with it? Poof, into the atmosphere. And I don't seem to care. We need to care. The CO2 we generate is poisoning our atmosphere and it's causing climate change.